Hey, 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 what's up everybody? Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming here, back with another LEGO Batman. This is level 9, Zoo's Company Free Play. We're going to get those 10 mini kits, we're going to get that stud requirement, of course find that power brick and turn that frown upside down by rescuing that hostage in peril. Now we are almost done with the second episode, meaning we are basically getting into that home stretch. So that's pretty awesome, but uh, I do want to give a quick reminder. We do have some quick links down below in the video description. And because this is free play, all non-essential gameplay and cutscenes have been removed or possibly even sped up. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and jump right into the old middle vehicle here and toggle over to Zoo's Company Level 4 Free Play. And of course, uh, to keep things consistent, we're going to choose Clayface and let the game choose the rest. And of course, uh, not that you have a choice, right? Not that you have a choice. We'll go ahead and jump right in, and as soon as we get things rolling, we're going to use our strong character to rip off this handle, switch over to somebody with toxic immunity, and then make your way over to the far right side and build up those bouncing bricks, which turn into a nice little elevator, which will give us a, just enough lift to get up top and double jump and grab the first of 10 mini kits. Now we're going to want to kind of pay attention to the hazardous bricks scattered throughout the level as it'll save us some time later. It does uh, have relevancy to a mini kit that we're not quite there yet, but uh, just keep in mind that we're going to need to pick up a bunch of those bricks. Now uh, over on the front left side of things, as we grab some more of those hazard bricks, we're going to come towards the screen and actually off to the left hand side. There is a nice little uh, amusement ride there that you can get a bunch of studage if you're in need of that, but we have too much. But we're going to make our way to this left little window here and use our feminine wiles to go ahead and persuade Buddy to open the door. And inside we've got a grate and a steel, I guess it's a generator of sorts? Silver, that is. We'll blow them both up and, of course, build those bouncing bricks into a boat, but not before slurping up some more of those hazard bricks. Now this next mini kit right here, this part of this mini kit anyways, is pretty difficult as we're going to have to hop in this boat, make a lap around this pond, and tag, I think it's seven buoys, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it's ten buoys. Ah, oh, phooey, it's 10 buoys. And look at that. We got it on our first try, you guys. My best advice is to keep on keeping on. If you get way out of sync or if you make a bad turn and you smash into a wall, let them respawn and start all over and just try to make a nice swoop around in that circular motion. Now, uh, we do need a couple more hazard bricks. As you can see, we're only two away from depositing them into a big canister and getting some stuffs in return. And I am looking all over for a couple more. As it turns out, there are some in the on the ground in the next room to the left where the canister uh, is. And there's also some in that far right section of whatever that was, the garage or whatnot. Once you have 25 or once you're ready to <laughs> come pick up the ones that are in this room, feel free to make your way into what seems to be some sort of a lobby. We'll go ahead and deposit them bricks in here, and eventually it's going to start building up an aerial mini kit. Now all we need to do is jump up and swoop it. Speaking of jumping up and swooping it, we're going to need a character with double jump. We're going to jump on this vending machine here, and then up onto this ledge where we can deploy a bomb, 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 bomb. Look at that. We've gone ahead and done so, and oh no, I made a wrong turn to Albuquerque. I should have gone left, and I went right. It's all good, though. We can jump right back up there and swoop up number four. Now we are basically done with this area. We're going to double jump over this gate. I think we could smash it and it just opens. Uh, but double jump over if not. And of course we'll hop in after building up this tractor. John Deere your way over here. And we'll go ahead and jump out and make our way into the giraffe area. Which is really not the giraffe area. It's, I guess it's the safari was, was what it was indicating. We're going to get greeted by a couple of bad guys. Go ahead and take them down and continue along until we get to this totem here. We're actually going to smash and build the bricks left behind from these boxes and also build up. Notice that flower? That plant wasn't there a hot second ago. That's going to be handy in a minute. We're going to need to double jump off of that in order to get to the top of this totem where that mini kit is. I think it's a totem. It's right next to that totem. It's a totem next to a totem. There's a birdie up there. I don't know what's going on. Regardless of what it technically is, get up there and get that kit. Now, right behind there is this broken stairwell. We're going to jump up there again with a character with double jump. And up in the middle, there is a silver grate. 
So we're going to drop the bomb down and let it go kablooey. And then it seems like we need to jump in there. So I switch over to the old dive suit. And then... Whop, 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 whop. Turns out the bouncing bricks came yeeting out. And we just need to build them up. And look at that. Red brick is now officially ours. So... Uh, we got a couple more mini kits. Of course, we also need that hostage in peril, and then we'll be uh, done dead. Now, there is a nice little cheese here. You can get over this corner. It's a little bit of a funny angle, but uh, it can be done, as you can see. There's also a steel or silver grate over on the front right side of this area, but I found it just a little easier to get in there that way. So there you can see this, the silver gate. Now, I toggled over and left my other character in there. Feel free to do the same or make your way back out. But the important factor is we make our way to the next silver gate here, which we can blow it up with another one of Batman's bombs. And over in the back right corner behind all three of these elephants is going to be mini kid number seven. Woo to the hoo. All right, look out there, buddy. Look at me swinging at him. Come on. All right, next up, check it out. Remember I told you we were going to turn that frown upside down? Pull out Batman in the sonar suit and get your on and go ahead and take out one or both sides of glass get inside there smack both baddies and guess what we've officially freed that hostage in peril and turned that frown upside down next up we need a glider so we're going to use old pangan and jump across here and take out a few baddies we need that sonar suit one more time to remove this glass case preventing us from flipping a lever all right lever flipped we are out of here all right we got the old jungle cruise here <laughs> Kind of convenient that movie just came out too, huh? Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and take out a few bad guys. Cha 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 cha. More guys come from up on the boat. Cha 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 cha. And then we're gonna go ahead and switch to a character with double jump and uh, do some lily pad hopping out here. Of course, uh, this first big one. Once you hit it, it's gonna spawn a mini kit sort of behind you on the left side. Make sure you get your baboing on and grab that before making your way a little bit further down. Now you get a choice here. You can either go left or right. We chose to go left first. There's actually a mini kit hiding in the waterfall up there. There is a ledge, but in order to get to it, we need Mr. Freeze to freeze this little glowing bit here. It's going to give us a nice little ice cube. Not the wrapper, but the actual <laughs> physical form. And we'll go ahead and jump onto a weird ledge that you can't see and then make our way all the way to the left-hand side and then jump towards us to grab that mini kit. Now next... And last, we're going to make our way to the far right side, over onto the shoreline here. There is a nice little way to get over there by a couple of them lily pads. We need to jump up top and swoop up a mini kit, which appeared to be inside of that device that needed a strong handle. But it certainly seemed like I got the mini kit before I even grappled the handle. But regardless, grab it and you should be done dead with all the collectibles if you followed along. And uh, that being said, you could always hit that start button and go to the save and exit feature, which will take you to the final totals. Meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and take out this last little bit on the boat, including the silver grate. We'll go ahead and drop down inside, which this is a pretty big undercarriage for a boat, if I'm being honest. Like, look at how big this thing is. And it would have been cool, too, if we could have seen out there. I guess there is a little bit of water out that crystal window there. I hadn't really paid attention, but... Man Bat's going to get up close and personal. We're going to give him the old business. And once he runs off, we're going to build up a couple of bouncing bricks right in the front ground here. Smash what looks like a push switch. And then rebuild it into a push switch. We can actually get our cheat on and drop a Batman bomb down here and deploy it and blow up this what turns out to be a megaphone? Or something, and uh, once it's all built, we can go ahead and push this green switch around. So there are three port parts there. There's the yellow and gray bricks in the front side there. There is the actual switch, and then there's the actual the horn in the back. So uh, once you get three hearts removed from Man Bat, he's going to actually retreat, bring in some bad guys, and start this process all over again. This time we got to build it all up again too. So go ahead and build it all up. Once it falls into place, you can push on the green side. It should shout out a bunch of music, dropping him down. And last but not least, cha cha cha. Look at that. We've got another red brick on lock, 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 lock. area effect. I don't know what that means, but we've got it. It's officially available for purchase, which we will be doing pretty soon. Now, just to keep in mind as we ring off the old mini kits here. We will be doing the bonus levels. We will be doing a live stream where we purchase all of the remaining characters' vehicles, red bricks. At least that's the plan right now. If there's some sort of uh, doozy thrown in our path, we might have to alternate and do something different. But uh, for the for the time being, that's our plan. So, all right, here comes the many kits. Build it up, build it up, build it. What do we got? Looks like a no. It's is it no? It's an elephant. Great, those are some gray ears there, boy. Must be uh, 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why they were so gray. Anyways, that's going to go ahead and do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful and maybe a wee bit entertaining, don't forget to click that like button. Of course, that subscribe button is there, too, if you haven't already hit it. But as for me, that is going to do it for now, guys. As always, until next time... Whoa!